welcome to another episode of Natty's Cocktail Minute Road Trip Edition. So obviously I have my white cloth because camping, you know. I am road tripping out to Utah right now to go meet some friends to do some camping. But today I'm gonna talk about my favorite road trip snacks, sleeping in my car, and uh, what it is like to be a solo female traveler because, you know, I am a woman and I am traveling alone currently. <laughs> All right, how about now? Now we good? Oh my god, I can't get him. <laughs> I love snacks. Anything cheesy if it's got that like bright orange cheese dust on it i am all about it munchies and goldfish quintessential cheesy snacks i got the party size bag because i thought it would last me the whole trip and uh unfortunately i ate almost all of this in the first day but you know what i love cheesy snacks you know you get that like cheesy dust all over your fingers and then it gets all over everything like what is that cheese dust made out of i guess i'm going with the orange theme because i've also got a mango white claw so on this road trip i am sleeping in my car as you can probably see my general setup is i do gear on one side and then bed on the other got my sleeping pad the super thick one which is really nice Sleeping bag and little pillow, super comfy. Extra blanket to keep warm because I get cold and I don't like being cold. Another thing that I really like, <laughs> um, I have this little solar lamp, which is awesome. That way at nighttime if I wanna read or whatever and I, or I just need some light in the car, I don't have to turn on all the interior car lights and run down my battery because nobody wants a dead battery in the morning. So this little solar guy panel there, light lantern bit right there and then if you pop it open we got string lights pretty cool huh yeah eventually i would like to get some window coverings for you know the back windows back here it helps insulate the car to keep it warmer inside and it's like a good safety thing you know you don't want people looking in your car if you're like parked on the side of the road or something and speaking of safety um let's talk solo female traveling because Safety is a big deal there. <laughs> Having traveled quite a bit by myself, I've kind of got my routine down. I map out where I'm going and where I'm gonna be staying every night so like I don't, I'm not trying to figure that out while I'm on the road, you know? Like I, I have destinations in mind. I use a wonderful little app called The Dirt and it is basically like the Yelp of campgrounds. <laughs> so you could just type in your area or let it your GPS find where you are and it provides you all the campgrounds around. Um, people write reviews of them. It's really great. So that's what I've been using on this trip. Another big thing is that I always want to get to my campsite before dark. So like I want to get there in the daylight. That way I can scope it out, I can find a good spot. If things look weird or sketchy or I'm uncomfortable, I can make a new plan and find someplace else to sleep for the night. So that also means I take shorter travel days. A, because I don't have somebody else to, you know, split up the driving time and doing a 10 hour day fucking sucks by yourself. But that way I also can get to each day's destination within a reasonable amount of time during the daylight and then I can also, you know, get set up, get all like situated before it gets dark out. Well, I think that's about it for the day. I'm gonna, you know, finish up my white claw and enjoy the sunshine. We'll be back next week and hopefully I will have some cool footage from my camping trip. All right, guys, cheers. Happy Friday. <laughs>